catch them all. Uh. Hey, what up guys? It's your boy. I bet on me with some more Destiny 2 content. Hey, got another great video for you guys today regarding a guide role guide for both PvP and PvE regarding the 7th Seraph Carbine Auto Rifle that you could get when you get ranked level 3 in the Rasputin EDZ Bunker. Hey, but before we get into it guys, do me a favor. If you like great PvP, PvE content, weapon reviews, how-to videos, subclass builds, great gameplay, a little bit of Destiny 2 news as well, this is definitely the channel for you. So go ahead and click that sub and notification bell, but if not, you guys watching this is enough for me and I appreciate Appreciate the support. All right, guys. So we're about to get into this guy roll guide, and we're gonna get into some gameplay. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, guys. So here's a look at some of the stats of the Seventh Seraph Carbine. Now it has an impact of 29, a range of 62, which is very good. Uh, stability of 45, handling of 45, a reload speed of 47. This is 450 rounds per minute. Uh, archetype 34 in the magazine. Now it does have a hidden aim assist of 34. Uh, it has a recoil of 74, which is really good. A bounce intensity of only 26, and this gun does tend to shoot to the left, guys. So you want to be aware of that. All right. So my seventh come with corkscrew. Rifling, extended barrel, extended mag, aloe mag, also have hip fire grip, but I love this swashbuckler. This weapon gains increased damage from melee kills and kills with this weapon. Uh, it also came with a reload speed. I'm using over uh, load rounds. And here is the shader if you guys are wondering. All right, guys, here's the guide roll guide for PVE. Arrowhead break for the barrel. Add plus 10 to handling, plus uh, 30 to recoil. Recoil is very important. Uh, next, chamber compensator. Adds plus 10 to stability, plus 10 to recoil, minus 5 to handling, but that's okay. Now, moving to the magazines. We want to go with ricochet rounds. Add plus 5 to range, plus 10 to stability, and also flared magwell. Add plus 5 to stability, also plus 15 to recoil. Reload. Now in uh, trait uh, number one, there's uh, in slot three, there's really not a, a lot of good ones for PVE, but these are the best. You have uh, fourth times the charm, rapidly landing precision hits, will return two rounds to the magazine. You also have threat detector, now that is a good one. Increased reload stability and handling when enemies are in close proximity. And then at the bottom you have auto loading holster. The holster is automatically reloaded after a short period of time. Now, when it comes to the uh, trait two, there's only two that you want to go with. Number one, you want to go with Rampage, kills with this weapon, temporarily grant increased damage, stacks up times three, and Swashbuckler. This weapon gains increased damage from melee kills and kills with this weapon. And when uh, Swashbuckler times five and also Rampage times three, that's a 30% uh, buff on your damage. So that's how you're looking for your guy, Roll Guy for PvE. Now here's the guide roll guide for PvP. Now you're looking for range and stability. Those are the two most important traits on auto rifles for PvP. Now we got corkscrew rifling. It adds plus five to range, plus five to handling, plus five to stability. You get three for the price of one. You also have hammer forge rifling. It adds plus 10 to range. Now for the magazines, you wanna go with high caliber rounds add plus five to range you also want to go with ricochet rounds add plus five to range also plus 10 to stability now for trait one you want to go with slide shot sliding partially reloads this weapon magazine and temporarily boosts range and stability and threat detector increase reload stability and handling when enemies are in close proximity now for trait two uh just like pve you want to go with rampage kills with this weapon temporarily grants increased damage stacks up times three and swashbuckler this weapon gains increased damage from melee kills and kills with this weapon so uh and it stacks up times five video guys i'm going with middle tree uh striker titan code of the missile uh, like i said i'm also 
also using the seven. I'm using the anonymous autumn. I am using the truth rocket launcher. Here is my Titan setup. If you guys do uh, my bill, if you do want to take a look at it. All right, guys. So let's get into this game plan. Let me show you. Amazing. <laughs> That's stupid, man. 